This person broke your heart, but you left a mark in their lives. They can't forget you. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorine. I have a prophetic word for someone. This person broke your heart, but you left a mark in their lives. They can't forget you. This word is coming to someone you were hurt, you were betrayed. The person broke your heart, but you you made an impact, a positive impact in their lives. Yet they did that to you. And this word is coming now as a prophetic word because that hurt you so much. But God says, don't you dare lose who you are because of one bad person. And you might be saying it's been more than once my heart has been broken. God says even two, three. It doesn't mean everyone in the world is bad because you made one who is like that. Yes, they, excuse, yes, they broke your heart. But that doesn't mean all men are like that. Don't deprive yourself from loving again. Don't deprive yourself from meeting someone who will genuinely love you. Yes, they cheated on you, but that, that doesn't mean all men are cheat or all women are cheat. Yes, they betrayed you. They abused you. That doesn't mean every man is abusive. Don't define your life, your relationship life based on one person that you met that was the wrong person. And don't change the virtues that God has put in you because you made the wrong person. You cannot become like them. You cannot become evil because you made an evil person. That is giving them too much right over your life. That is giving them so much of yourself. So the work that God has done in you, the virtues that God has put in you, you cannot throw them away because you made someone who lacks them. This person actually needs prayers. This person actually needs help. So you cannot become like them. You cannot lose yourself. You cannot cheat on someone else because some other person cheated on you. The person you are meeting next doesn't deserve that. And they could just be who got sent to you like the right person. Yes, they hurt you. Yes, they broke your heart. But God can heal you again. And God can still give you a good person don't give up on love because of your experience don't give up on what god has done in your life don't become evil because you met an evil person no you know why one more reason why you shouldn't because you left a mark in this person's life and no matter what they did and no matter how evil they were, they can't forget your impact in their lives. They can't forget what you did for them. Meaning it's just a matter of time. You planted a seed in their lives and it's just a matter of time for them to want to be like you. One day they are going to realize that this their way of life is not what it is not working and they are going to want to reach out to you. One day they are going to realize they are doing things the wrong way and they are going to want to be like you. What if by that day they are reaching out to you and you have become the same person that they are, that they once were? They are going to feel like, okay, that life is not permanent, it's not good enough, it's not one day they are going to reach out to you. Believe me. But know what? Whether they do that or they reach out to someone else, you have left a mark in their lives. That was enough evangelism for their souls. You planted a seed that God cannot ignore. So God will not allow you empty-handed. God will not reward you with another punisher. No. God will certainly give you a good person. Just trust him. Just trust him. And he will do that for you. Hallelujah. If you felt like this word was for you and you felt led to sow a seed or maybe to drop an offering, just check the description box. You will see Kasha PayPal mobile money there or you just hit on that super thanks. The Lord bless you. Shalom.